The revolution is in your mind. The revolution is in your mind. The revolution is in your mind. <laughs> I might hurt myself with this thing. I have no idea how to use it. I'm going to set it down. Welcome to the very first band tribute beerger. You guessed it. This one is dedicated to one of my favorite bands of all time, the Heartless Bastards. And I know this is a family-friendly channel, but it's the name of their band. I, 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 didn't, I didn't do it. They're amazing. If you've never listened to them, I will put links to all my favorite Heartless Bee songs down in the description below. Check them all out. Listen to them. Listen to them as much as possible. They're fantastic. They've got a, lead, a woman lead singer named Erica Winterstrom who will blow your mind. She's awesome. She inspires me every time I listen to her, and it just feels good. It's just rock and roll, and it feels good. Yeah. And bonus, they have a brand new single out called The Revolution. You got to go check it out. I'll put that in the description below, too. It's fantastic, just like the rest of their songs. You'll enjoy them immensely. So this beerger is dedicated to them, and I asked today's guest, what her favorite all-time food was? She said brisket. I said smoked, barbecue. You know, how do you like your brisket? And she said smoked. So unfortunately, I don't have a smoker, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind up a bunch of beautiful, fatty, meaty, beefy, delicious brisket, and we're gonna grind it up, and we're gonna double grind it, and we're gonna make double cheeseburgers. <sighs> we're gonna make a smoked mustard sauce using Allagash Brewing Black Belgian Stout. This beer is seven and a half percent. They're from Portland, Maine. It's from made with dark and ro dark and roasted with notes of chocolate expressed throughout. It's Belgian style, bottle conditioned. It's gonna be great inside the smoked mustard sauce. And we're gonna put crumbled bacon in that sauce too. Yeah. And we're gonna pair this brisket burger with a gift that was from one of my best buddies. I'm not allowed to say his name because he'll get mad that I said his name on the internet. But this beer is from Three Brothers and it's called Resolute. Now this beer is a bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. It's 13 and a half percent and this was purchased back in 2014 six years old well almost it's like five and a half years old it was purchased in april oh man i am excited about this one grab your favorite beer turn on some heartless bastards and let's go make a beerger all right we're gonna start off by drying our meat let's use a paper towel and just let's just wipe it down you know all right she's beautiful let's just cut this into chunks for the grinder all right, once we get these cut up into little bite-sized pieces for the grinder, we're gonna pop it back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes just to chill it back down. And we also chilled our meat grinder components in the freezer for about an hour to get them real nice and cold. Uh, this just helps keep the, keep the fat from melting all inside and keeps the fat in your beef. So we're grinding it the first time. And then we're grinding it the second time. When you grind it twice, it really mixes the fat in with the meat. And since this is fattier, we want it blended well. So we're just going to take half an onion. This is for our smoked maple mustard sauce. And we're just going to chop, rough chop this up into little tiny spots. And speed it up. Woo, chop it fast. And we're just going to just rough chop this up and set this aside. And there's our Hacks Barbecue Sauce, smoked maple mustard. This stuff turned out to be delicious. I was going to make my own, then I saw this in the grocery store, figured I'd try it. So we're using about a little over a cup of this, and then we're going to mix it with a quarter cup of the Allagash Black. And we're going to add a few glugs of Kewpie Mayo, and I actually added a little bit more mayo later on. A couple glugs of Worcestershire, and let's toss in our onions. Get it mixy mixy and oh that's starting to look that's a pretty pretty color even for a colorblind dude like me so we're just gonna get this all incorporated oh there's that extra spot of mayo all right let's so get that extra onion in there and we'll get that all mixed up all right now we're gonna weigh out quarter pound burgers we're gonna 
make half pound double cheeseburgers. So quarter pounds each, just lightly form them into a ball. You don't compact them too tight. Uh, so when you smash them, that really smashes down well. So we, are, we made five of these double cheeseburgers today. They were beautiful. Man, that's a lot of burger balls. Check out them burger balls. All right, we also fried up some applewood smoked thick bacon. We're just going to chop this up into little small chunks, and now we add this to that beautiful mustard sauce. Stir in all that beautiful bacon. Oh, don't you just love bacon? All right, now we're going to go ahead and toast our buns. We're just going to use a little bit of olive oil on the smoking hot pan. Get your pan smoking hot. Put those balls of beef down there and smash them into the pan. That's when you get that beautiful crustiness on the bottom. And we used tubs, tub a tub tub, coffee and molasses rub with these beergers. Just season one side, and we'll go ahead and give them a flip. And we will add pepper jack cheese and gooey American cheese to each patty. Dubba cheese, dubba dubba cheese. Let's add the pan, get it nice and steamy, hot and steamy. Ooh, that shit, I love melt. Isn't melted cheese just gorgeous? All right, let's go ahead and pile them on top of each other and take them to the station. Beautiful. All right, let's see that beautiful charred bun down there. Let's put some of our smoked maple mustard and bacon sauce on the bottom piece. Put some shredded iceberg lettuce on the on top of that. And now we add our patties. 100% brisket. And let's add, you guessed it, mo sauce. Add mo sauce. Let's put the top on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my. That is a work of art. It's a work of gooey, delicious, juicy art. Let's cut it in half and see what the inside looks like. <gasps> oh, one more slice. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. It's just gooey. It's going to be messy and delicious. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> there it is. The double brisket burger. That's Trista's. This is my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, right? Yeah. <laughs> I always get confused with the whole in-law thing. Like, what's an in-law, what's an outlaw? I don't know. Is there, are there outlaws? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Trista the other day, she's up visiting, and I said, what's your favorite food of all time? And she goes, I really like me some brisket. This is what she said in the text message. I don't I know did. if that was her voice. But so what we did, since I don't have a smoker, you saw it. We smashed the brisket after we double ground it. Put some of that tub, tubby tub tub rub on there. And then here we are with this smoky sauce. What do you think? You saw how it was made. How did... I can't wait to try it. Yeah? Yep. Here we go. I'm going to put mine down and use two hands. <laughs> Oh boy. Mm. Mm. She doesn't like onion. And there's onion in there. Can you taste the onion? Mm. <laughs> no, there's a perfect amount of crunch. It adds. It doesn't right? have the power. Yeah, mm -hmm. just adds that flavor. Onion is flavor. Fat is flavor. Let's see how this beer pairs with the beer. Okay. How do you like high alcohol percentage? I love it. Beers. That's what I order when I go to the bar. I just look at the alcohol content. That's it. That's all you did. That's, that's all you... been 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was before two kids. Yes. Well, cheers. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> you didn't say what it was. Oh, yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're about to drink Three Brothers Resolute. This is a bourbon barrel aged Russian imperial stout that was given to me by my the best man in our wedding. So th <laughs> he bought this November 11th, 2014, six years ago. 
Wow. It's been he was holding out hope. So it's got to at married. least be 18% by now, right? At least. We'll see what it is. Cheers. Mm. It's so smooth. So smooth. Can't even tell it's 18%. Mm. How's it go with that mustard? Delightful. What did you think of being on beer? She was nervous at first nervous. about being on camera, but she did great, didn't she? Click the thumbs up if you thought she did great. <laughs> Come I on. I know you'll click the thumbs up. <laughs> so would you do it again? Yes. There it is. That's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So click that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. For every time someone subscribes, we make more beergers. So if you find value in what we do, click the subscribe button. <laughs> I'm going to go do that right now. There you go. <laughs> so as always, be generous in life. And you say with your beergers. And with your beergers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Tristan, was it good? Two thumbs up! <laughs>